stuff. During the lecture today, we find out that there is um, a typo when we were discussing TEQ and TST. And I was looking at the notes after class, and I think it, worth a, it is worth a little bit of more explanation. So we are all on the same page. Sorry about the typo. Let's look at TEQ. Right, TEQ can be used as an alternative to say compare, right? So what it does is to do a exclusive or between them. Um, and based on the result, it's gonna set n bit or z bit. If the result, so it's gonna test if the two values are the same, if they are exactly the same. So if Rn is the same as OP2, then the result will be zero because one thing exclusive or with itself equals to zero. And that means the z bit will be set. So for TEQ, if they are the same, the z bit will be set. If they are different, then the z bit won't be set. z bit will be clear. And that's kind of how we used in this example, and this was the typo. Right? So if we have an if statement, if x is the same as 0, we normally do this kind of compare. Right? If x is my r0, you compare r0 with 0. If they are different, b and e means not equal. And in fact, if you look at the notes, what b and e checks is, so what it does is to branch if z is 0, which means if the result is not 0. right? So because z equals 0 means the result is not 0, or else z would be 1, that's a bit. So if the result in here, you, you kind of do a subtraction, subtract 0 from r0. If the result is not 0, then you, you skip over if. Right. In here is the same thing. You do the exclusive or, are they the same? If they are the same, if they are the same, it means r0 is 0, so which means x is 0, you are not supposed to branch, you are supposed to have execute this if part. If the result is not 0, which means you should branch, because b and e looks for the zibit. And so, um, if r0 isn't 0, then the result of TEQ won't be 0. The result of TEQ, right? It won't be 0, which means z will be 0. And b and e will branch when z is 0. So in other words, we are saying if r0 is not 0, we should skip over if, which makes sense. Right? Now for TST, um, there is another thing that I wanted to change on your note, which is this, uh, on the note it says, if not, in fact, it should be if yes. Um, so what TST does is to do an end between them, right? Um, and there are two possibilities because we want to test if any of those positions specified by this mask over here is set. Because if any of them is set, then the result won't be zero, right? Because you are doing an end. If there is a one in one of those positions on R3, and also there's a one in the last seven bits, if they are ended together, then the result won't be exactly zero, right? So if R3 has a bit set, or at least one bit, then the result of TST R3 0x7f, this result won't be zero. In other words, z will be zero. Right. If the result isn't zero, you are not gonna set the n bit. I'm sorry, you are not gonna set the z bit. And then B and E will branch, will branch. So you will go to this target if any of the, the last seven bits in R3 is set. So we should change this into yes, instead of if not. Okay, check it. if any of the lower seven bits are set, if yes, then you branch. Okay. Um, 
and if R3 has none of the last seven bits set, the result will be exactly zero. Um, then Z bit would be one, which means you don't go to target. So um, these two, especially TST, is used to test a block of bit positions to see if any of them is set. It's more like error checking. If any of the errors happen, then you know that you can do something. Okay. So hopefully this is clearer for you. Um, and if you have questions, you can ask on Piada or ask me after class. All right.